Imagine working at a construction site and moving all the material from the car up a hill. It is difficult enough and the day is still long, so when the foreman, Czar Park, arrived, he had no idea that his day would get much better. This woman would soon regret parking there. After all, she deserved all the trouble she got herself into. This is what you get when you're rude and condescending. Here's how it all started. The construction worker was the foreman of a new project. He had to build a house on top of a hill. The path towards the house is 250 feet. This meant bringing the supplies was difficult, and it had to be done by hand. Indeed, this was quite a complicated project. Not only does building a house require a lot of effort, but also carrying all the materials up a hill with your bare hands is a tough task. Thankfully, the workers had two parking spots at the bottom of the hill. These two parking spots were reserved for the construction workers, so two no-parking signs were installed to make sure the spots were always clear for the trucks that brought materials. But there were some issues. Close to the construction site, there was an elementary school, and ever since the workers had begun the project, they found a lot of cars parked illegally. But this wasn't as shocking as the mom who parked there on a fateful day. Whenever people parked there waiting for their kids to finish their last class, the workers didn't bother them because they didn't need the space. And if they needed the space, they politely asked them to move, and usually they did. On the days when materials had to be delivered, the foreman had to make sure the parking spots were free. But on that day, there was a car parked there in one of the spots. What happens next should be part of a movie. There was a woman there, probably waiting for her kid to show up from school. He was getting ready to explain that she was parked illegally. He approached her, and that's when things got out of hand. I get a phone call from the lumber delivery truck that's en route to our location, he says. He says he'll be there in about two or three minutes, said the foreman in a Reddit post that went viral. So the woman parked in that spot had to leave very fast. Instead, she had a different attitude that day. The truck was bringing lumber to frame the roof of the house, so it was quite a lot of material. It would have taken about an hour to unload, and he needed to park there so that it wouldn't be parked right in the middle of the street. With that in mind, the foreman had to tell the woman parked there that she was illegally parked and she had to clear this spot for a truck that had to deliver materials. She scoffs at me and rudely stares back. Tag, I'll just be a few minutes and your truck isn't here. Take a chill pill, dude. The giant lumber truck was just turning around the corner. So before he could process and respond to her rude remark, the foreman looked at the truck driver and turned back to the woman's car. She'd put her window back and was ignoring him. I put on my best customer service smile and wave at her through the window. She pushed it down halfway and angrily shouted, What? The foreman tries to be polite, and with his stronger voice, he tells her to move the car. Then she has the brightest idea ever. Can't you guys just unload around me? Jesus, it's not that hard, she said dismissively. Stung by her rudeness, he takes note of what she recommended and plans his revenge. I give her another smile and walk away. A brilliant plan forming in my head, he wrote on Reddit. I instruct the delivery driver to park as closely to her as possible and block her in with a porta potty that's at one end of our reserved spots and the parked car that is parked just adjacent to our spots on the other end, wrote the foreman. She doesn't get it at first, but a few minutes later, she realizes that she's stuck. The woman was busy and not paying attention to the construction workers, so it took her a while to see that she wasn't able to get out. Over there, the foreman had one more thing to do. Now that the plan was put into action, we unstrap the lumber and my guys begin humping material up the hill. Meanwhile, I called a police parking enforcement to let them know the situation, explained the Redditor. He added that he intended to make sure he wouldn't get in trouble for blocking the street, so the police told him they'd be there in 30 minutes then hell breaks loose. As we continue to unload lumber, the child of the parent shows up. Man, wouldn't you know it? Mom is just now realizing that the lumber truck is parked so close, she can't get out of her driver's door to meet her kid, said the foreman. She manages to get out of the car through the passenger door and glares at the foreman. After loading the kid in the car, she stormed at the workers and said, I'm in a big hurry. You need to move your damn truck right now so I can go but he doesn't have time to respond because the truck driver decides to intervene. The truck driver is quick to reply, that is impossible, ma'am. To unload the lumber on the truck, we had to unstrap it and pair our company policy. 
I'm not allowed to move the truck with any unsecured load on it. Of course, she had a fit of rage, but soon enough the police officer came in. She is shocked to see the entire scene. This sends her into near aneurysm levels of blood pressure. Meanwhile, I can barely contain my laughter, the foreman said. Frick your policy, I have somewhere to be, yelled the woman driver. Meanwhile, the traffic officer was just parking her car behind the truck. The foreman saw the officer getting outside her vehicle and told the enraged mom, can't you just pull out around it? It's not that hard, giving her a taste of her own medicine. To his amazement, the woman gets back inside the car before swearing at him and starts it. Before the police officer could introduce herself to the culprit, the mom slams her car into reverse, crashes into the porta potty, knocks it over and tries to mount the curb and drive on the sidewalk. Imagine the face of the officer and the workers. The officer, driver and I are staring in disbelief as she gets halfway over the curb and gets stuck. I can hear her screaming obscenities over the idling truck from inside her car, said the foreman. But the mom had no idea the police officer was watching her. She gets slapped in cuffs as the parking officer calls for a second unit, and she's promptly sat on the very curb she tried to drive over, he recalled in the long red story. But then she starts to lie to the officer about the whole thing. Having seen enough, the officer approaches the car and orders the mom to get out of the car. My favorite part of the entire thing is watching her face go to change. She realized that she just did all of that in front of a police officer, said the foreman. So what happened next? She was in trouble, and it only worsened when she decided to turn this problem in her favor. She told the officer that she wasn't told to move and tried to blame the workers. But the mom didn't know the officer was already informed of the situation. By the end of the ordeal, she was arrested and charged with child endangerment. Her kid was in the back of the car the whole time. Reckless driving and destruction of property, the porta potty. But that wasn't the only offense. This mad woman was driving on a suspended license. On top of all that, she got her car towed. The kid went home with his grandma and she went to spend some quality time in a cell. The foreman concluded his story. People couldn't believe how many wrong decisions a person can make in less than half an hour. One person wasn't even amazed that this woman already had her license suspended. Others agreed that it was a long story, but worth reading it. I never expected her to heed my advice to just pull out around it. Well, this should be a lesson for her not to park in a tow zone. That is if she ever gets her license back in the first place.